Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you to the eight people that have shared the broadcast. May God richly bless you and make you partakers of the blessing of those that share God's word. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Are we ready to pray? I just want you to congratulate yourself this morning for showing up on the prayer altar. Congratulations to me. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to us. Congratulations to us. I don't know about you, but congratulations to me just for showing up and making it on the threshing floor. Congratulations to me. Hello, somebody. Somebody type congratulations to me. Congratulations to me. Hey, congratulations to me. Thank you to the 27 people that have shared the broadcast so far this morning. God bless you. God bless you. May God tremendously bless you and remember you. May he make you a partaker of the blessing that's connected to those that share his word. 29 people shared so far. In the name of Jesus, just begin to pray from wherever you are. Lord, thank you. Thank you for this morning. Thank you for this day. We enter your courts with praise. We enter your courts with praise. We enter your courts with gratitude. We want to honor you. We want to celebrate you this morning. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you, Lord of hosts. This is the day that you have made. We rejoice and indeed we are glad in it. Uh, we reverence you, King of glory. We magnify you. You are worthy to be praised this morning. Receive great glory and honor in the name of Jesus. Ah, David says, who will praise you when I am in the grave? We have come to praise you for we are not in the grave. We have come to honor you for we still have breath in our lungs. We have come to worship you for we are still alive. All your mercies are new this morning. And Father, we celebrate you. We thank you and we honor you. We appreciate you for the work that you are doing this morning. Thank you, Father, for every good and perfect gift that you have prepared for us this morning. Thank you for every good and perfect gift that will proceed from your hands. Oh, we celebrate you. We honor you. Be given glory this morning. And Father, as we begin to pray and intercede, I pray, Father, that you clear the atmosphere so that we may travail and we may ascend with ease in the name of Jesus. Father, we come against any plans from the prince of the air in the name of Jesus. Any disturbance, any distractions. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that we have authority. We have power in Jesus' mighty name over his schemes. In the name of Jesus, we honor and we celebrate you this morning. Amen and amen. Welcome to this virtual portal of prayer. My name is Melody. We meet every morning between 6.30 and 7.30 a.m. S.A.S.T. daily from Monday to Friday. Um, we meet here. So I want to encourage you to be a part of the family. If you're not yet a part of the family, subscribe to the platform so you get notified every time we go live. God bless you daily prayer. The daily prayer who's our new subscriber. In fact, I think you've renewed your subscription. Uh, so God bless you so very much in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much, Audrey. We are still in the book of Psalm 23. Psalm 23, just open your Bibles to the book of Psalm 23. And we are starting this morning from verse 3. Verse 3, Psalm 23, verse 3, part B. Thank you, Jesus. Psalm 23, verse 3. Scripture says, 
he restores my soul and we labored on he restores my soul yesterday and we said uh, he, he, he is going to heal every soul wound in your life in the name of Jesus. And we said God is bringing wholeness to every fragmented soul. And the Lord began to minister to a lot of people that have that had different issues yesterday. Thank you, Miss Mumbi, our resubscriber. Thank you very, very much. May God honor you. May God increase you in the name of Jesus Christ for partnering up with the platform. And so today we are starting from, he guides me in the path of righteousness. This morning, uh, this morning I want us to labor on, 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 on the thought that God guides us in the path of righteousness. God guides us in the path of righteousness. And scripture says he does it for his name's sake. Prayer governors, God has a reputation to keep. Prayer governors, when God looks at your life, he has a reputation to maintain. Have you ever seen somebody that worked for a specific company and while they were working for a particular company, for that specific particular company, uh, they did something wrong. They did something off. And the company takes it upon themselves to foot legal bills connected to that wrong thing. The company takes the financial responsibility and the financial burden of bringing in PR management to manage the scenario. The company takes it upon themselves to hire lawyers. The company takes it upon themselves to make sure that there is no media company that releases this information. Why? Because their reputation is at stake. Why? Because you did wrong. We're going to deal with you in-house. But pertaining to this company, pertaining to this brand, pertaining to this particular name, we are going to protect it with all we have. Prayer governors, one thing I've learned about God is God does not play with my life. And I want to tell you this morning that God doesn't play with your life either. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible says that he guides you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Some of you have been thinking that this thing is you fighting, fighting to stay pure for your sake, uh, uh, fighting to walk the narrow path for your sake, fighting to do what is right for your sake. But one thing that I've learned about God is God does not play with me. God will go to the ends of the earth to make sure that my story comes right. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if somebody catches me this morning. God will go to the ends of the earth to make sure that I don't look crazy in front of people. God will go to the ends of the earth to make sure that my story comes together. There's somebody you've been thinking you've been fighting on your own, but I want to tell you that the, you have the backing of heaven because God will make sure that your story comes together for his name's sake. <clears throat> God will make sure that your story will begin to make sense for your name's sake. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I've learned that God doesn't play with me. I worry for the people that play with me because God doesn't play with me. <clears throat> God doesn't play about my household. God doesn't play about my ministry. God doesn't play about my assignment. God doesn't play about my workplace. God doesn't play about my business. I worry if you play with me. That's somebody's story this morning. I want you to catch the audacity that God doesn't play concerning your issue. You've been fighting that issue off. You've been fighting that sin off and you've felt like you are doing it alone. But I want to tell you that you have reinforcement from heaven. The Bible says he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. There are some of you who have been walking in the corridors of destiny at such a magnitude that at this point, heaven has to defend your honor. Heaven has to defend your story. 
Heaven has to defend, he has to defend you. The Bible says that an angel comes to Mary and says, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women and blessed is the child that you will carry. And the angel delivers the message to Mary. And here's what the angel says. And the angel says, we are aware that you are engaged. So we're going to have to go and tell your husband. The angel could have easily said, you fix the matter on your own. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You go tell Joseph on your own what we have told you. But heaven said, your, your story is so intricate and sensitive to us because it carries our name. God says he, he will lead you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. I'm sent an assignment this, this morning to tell somebody that God is going to defend all things pertaining to you, all things connected to you. God is going to help you fight off that addiction. God is going to help you fight off that sin. God is going to help you fight and contend and win that situation for his name's sake. The angel says we, we leave nothing to chance because the, the, the heaven's signature is on this story. I need somebody to say heaven's signature is on my story. God is going to vindicate me for his name's sake. Heaven's signature is on the story of my business. God is going to defend me for his name's sake. Heaven's signature is on my marriage. God is going to defend me for his name's sake. Heaven's signature is on this relationship. God is, go it, he is going to defend me for his name's sake. It is no longer just about you. It is no longer just about your business. It is no longer just about your children. It is no longer just about your spouse. It, it is about the testimony that God is preserving and protecting. The psalmist says he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. The psalmist says I'm not doing life alone. The psalmist says even in the areas where I struggle the most with sin, God is contending and fighting my metals on my behalf for his name sake ah we're gonna pray this morning i want you to lift up your voice this morning there is a pr there is an area you are struggling with in your life there is a place you are struggling with in your life and there is an issue you are contending with in your life i want you to cry out for mercy this morning i want you to say for your name's sake arado se kediba for your name's sake, Lord, arindo mo sinama kaza. For your name's sake, Lord, contend this issue on my behalf. Lead me in the path of righteousness. It shall not be said pertaining me that my car was repossessed. It shall not be said pertaining my household that we were kicked out of our house and it was auctioned by the bank. It shall not be said of me that I fell into sin. It shall not be said of me that I was found in, an, in, a, in a compromising scandal. David says, you guide me in the path of righteousness. You make sure that my issue it makes sense you make sure that my issue comes together for your name's sake i need somebody to lift up their voice and say lord for your name's sake take care of my children for your name's sake uh, deliver me from this weakness for your name's sake deliver me from this lust for your name's sake deliver me from this sin for your name's sake, deliver me from this issue. For your name's sake, give me victory with the courts. For your name's sake, somebody begin to lift up your voice this morning. That's our fr first prayer point. For your name's sake, my goodness, my goodness, my God. Aroka zakada bayando ko zoko dobo. Arembe kenima soka zivakada bayako seke de bebebe. Lead me in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Lead me in the path of righteousness for your kingdom's sake. Lead me in the path of righteousness to protect the honor of your ministry. 
Lead me in the path of righteousness to protect the honor of your kingdom. Lead me in the path of righteousness. Aziva karika davaya kosinta. Areke debe yande ke debe seke debebe. Arinda namako seke diba yande ke dede. In the matchless name of Jesus. Abaka soka diba baba ba yande ke seke. Aroka da baba ba ba yande ke seke deba. Father, we cry out and we long for righteousness. We long to walk in the right path. We long to do the dealings of the Lord. We long to walk in integrity and honor. We long to walk in a path that pleases you. We long to carry your name with honor. We long to do your ministry with honor. We long to do marriage with honor. We long to do business with honor in the matchless name of Jesus because we carry your name, because we represent your kingdom. Father, I declare and, and decree today that this morning your people are going to walk in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Not by might, neither by power, but by your spirit. Do it for your name's sake. Preserve the integrity and honor of your kingdom. Preserve the integrity and honor of your ministry. Preserve the integrity and honor of your name in the name of Jesus. Let us carry this assignment with honor. Let us carry this covenant with honor. Father, right now begin to release mantles of righteousness. Rele begin to release mantles of honor. Begin to release mantles of walking in the righteousness of the Lord. In the matchless name of Jesus, contend our battles for us. Contend our issues for us. Lead us in the narrow path, the path of righteousness. Eroka zaka zivaka di baraka. Rante ne meke sika zakate. Areko zaka di vavaka ne mako zika. In the matchless name of Jesus. For your name's sake. For your name's sake. Help me to walk in decency. Help me to walk in integrity. Help me to walk in upright, walk in ministry. Help me to walk in virt virtue, oh God. Azoka zavaka di bayanto lekro zivaka di bayande. Antena mako saka di bayande ke di balakros indana. In the matchless name of Jesus. Help me to walk in goodness. Help me to walk as a woman of virtue. Amaku zakida bayakro zaka di bakantene meko. In the matchless name of Jesus, I cry out that you preserve my ministry. I cry out that you preserve my marriage. I cry out that you preserve my businesses. I cry out that you preserve my workplace. I touch and agree with my brothers and my sisters this morning. May the integrity and the honor of their names be preserved because they carry the signature of heaven. They carry the signature of heaven. They represent Represent heaven. They are kingdom ambassadors. Eroka zaka de bayanda. This morning we cry out for mercy for your people to walk in integrity. This morning we cry out for mercy for your people to walk a life of sinlessness. In the matchless name of Jesus. Aroka zaka zivaka de bayanda. Anema kuzaka da bayako rekeze de kene me kante ne me kusa. In the matchless name of Jesus. Azika. I lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. In the matchless name of Jesus, lead us in the path of righteousness and preserve our families. Lead us in the path of righteousness and preserve our legacy. Lead us in the path of righteousness and preserve our names in the community. Lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. We cry out for mercy this morning. We cry out for mercy this morning. Iranda na makona makase kerebe de sekeda bayande kenia. 
Areke de bebe bebe shante na mayande ka zevra kadiba yande kadia. Remove the appetite for the world that we carry. Remove the appetite for that which is not godly that we carry. Lead us in the path of righteousness for your name's sake. Remove any appetite for things that might discredit our witness. Remove any appetites we carry for things that might discredit our ministries. Remove any appetites we carry for things that might break our marriages. Things that might break our relationships. Things that might break the relationships we have with our destiny connections. Remove any worldly appetites that might fight with your ministry over our lives. That might fight with your destiny over our lives. That might fight with your assignment over our our lives that might fight with the legacy that you have been building over our lives lead us in the path of righteousness not for our sake but for your name's sake for your name's sake god we don't want to disappoint you God, we don't want to disappoint you. We don't want to disappoint you in ministry. We don't want to disappoint you in our families. We don't want to disappoint you in our households. We don't want to disappoint you in every place where we carry your name. We don't want to disappoint you in every place we are standing and moving as ambassadors. We cry out for mercy. We cry out for mercy. I want you to know from today onwards that God doesn't play about your name. If you are honest with yourself, every place where you have fallen, the Holy Spirit has done the best he can to warn you. The Holy Spirit has done the best that he can to protect you. The Holy Spirit has done the best that he can to advise you, to convict you. To try to snatch you out of that sin. God doesn't play about your destiny. God doesn't play about your ministry. God doesn't play about your marriage. God doesn't play about your assignment. I've said this before in a morning prayer. I said the amount of, 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 of nano decisions it takes for a man to fall into sin. The amount of opportunities God gives you to make a decision. A decision that is good. A decision that will take you out of that place. The Bible says that there is no temptation. Uh, there is never any temptation that is bigger than us. Temptations are weighed. There is never anything that fell on you. That was bigger than you. You succumbed. You submitted yourself to something that was less superior. God doesn't play about your ministry. God doesn't play about your business. God doesn't play about your marriage. From today, I want you to know that God is leading you in the path of righteousness for your name's, for his name's sake. God is leading you in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. I want you to know that you are helped by God. You are a woman helped by God. You are a man helped by God. I want you to walk around like you know it. I want you to walk around like you believe it. I want you to walk around like somebody that understands and catches the revelation that you are not doing life alone. You lead me in the path of righteousness. For your name's sake. That's why you keep convicting me. That's why you keep leading me in the path that pleases you. That's why you keep giving me advice. That's why you keep encouraging me and cheering me on to live a life of integrity. A life of morality. For your name's sake. In the name of Jesus. David says in the next verse, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Ay, 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 ay. He says, even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. What are you going through this morning? What is the doctor's report said about you this morning? 
What does the doctor's report say about your spouse this morning? David says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. David makes a decision. He says, as for me, I will fear no evil. I want somebody to lift up in audacity this morning and make a declaration, a bold announcement in the corridors of destiny that concerning me, I will fear no evil. Pertaining to my household, I will fear no evil. Do you know that some of you, you have attracted evil by fear? Fear is a magnet for the demonic. It is a magnet uh, whenever someone senses that you are afraid. It is easy for them to attack. In fact, I've heard it said that when dogs can sense, dogs can sense your fear. <laughs> the reason why they get very antsy around you is because they can sense your fear. I don't know if it's scientific, but I want to tell you this morning that fear is a magnet for the demonic. David says, even though I can tell that I'm walking in a valley. Some of you are walking in a valley this morning. David says, I can tell that I'm surrounded by the walls of a valley. I can tell that I'm walking right in the middle of a valley right now. And I can sense that the shadow of death is in close proximity i make a decision to fear no evil ah, yeah, 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 yeah. there are some of you the the, the the scripture says that that which I, I i feared the most job says there was something i feared and the very thing i feared the most came upon me do you know that some of your some of the things that have happened in your life are a self-fulfilling prophecy they are a self-fulfilling prophet prophecy because you feared the thing so much a woman can step into marriage and because she has been heartbroken for so long, because she has been disappointed for so long, because every single one of the relationships she was in, she was cheated on, she can step into marriage and sabotage her own blessing. She can sabotage a good thing because she expects the worst out of that marriage. A man can step into a marriage and because he has, he, all he knows is to be used by women. All he knows is to be loved for his money. All he knows is to be loved because he drives a good car and he lives in a good house. All he knows is women that have come and sucked and leached out of him. He can step into a healthy marriage with a good woman and self-sabotage. Fear can be a magnet for the demonic. There are some of you right now, you are in circumstances that were, that were, that, that were attracted by the fear you possessed. It has become a self-fulfilling prophecy. The very thing that you feared the most like job, it has, be, it has come upon you. I need some of you this morning to divorce yourself from the spirit of fear. I need some of you this morning to come out of agreement with the spirit of fear. I need somebody to say, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, the, the, the key word is that it's a shadow of death. It is not death in itself, which means death is in proximity, but I don't know how far it is. Ah, did somebody catch that? Death is in proximity, but I don't know how far it is. I just know that the shadow of death is around. Let me tell you something. Death will always be around. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. All of us, in fact, one day when the time is right in the Lord's timing, death will also be our portion. But as, but as long as I'm alive, as long as I'm walking in assignment, as long as it is not yet my time, I will see a shadow of death and I refuse to be afraid. I refuse to be intimidated by the shadow of death. I refuse to be intimidated. I don't know who I'm speaking to this morning. I refuse to be intimidated by shadows in my life. I refuse to be intimidated by shadows in my ministry. I refuse to be intimidated by shadows in my marriage. I refuse to be intimidated by shadows in my business. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you, you saw something that looked like a bankruptcy in your business. It looked like it had the similarities of a, a, a financial uh, financial struggle about to be for your business. It wasn't even the situation, but you panicked. You panicked. You panicked. 
There is a business my husband and I are involved in. And we're in a season where one of the one of the machinery that we used in use in that business has broken has ha, was involved in an accident and we went through a week in business where we said concerning that 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 particular machine let's sell it let's sell it because it's been involved in an accident let's just sell it off but I thank God for my husband because he called me in a few days later. He said, Mel, I know we can sell this and I, and I know we can get money and then maybe we can, we can consider uh, 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 in the fullness of time, in due time to get another asset. But what if I brought in an investor? What if I brought in somebody that was willing to sell money that could fix this machine and then we share in the profits? We keep the asset and we still maintain profitability. We just find someone that's willing to help us in this difficult season we're in. You see, there are things that happen in business that are a shadow of death, but they are not death. I need somebody to catch me this morning. Ay, 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 ay. There are some things that are a shadow of a bad season coming, but they are not, they are not a bad season. There is always ways to navigate around. I, David, David understood that death was always going to be around. I need somebody to know that you are, one day you will die. But when the time is right, David says, this is not death. This is just intimidation. This is not death. This is a shadow of death. So some of you, you have made destiny defining decisions because you, you saw a shadow. I don't know if I'm communicating this morning. Some of you, you made life defining, destiny defining decisions, life altering decisions because you saw a shadow. I want someone to lift up their voice in prayer this morning. I want you to say, I will not be intimidated by shadows. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you, you just looked at your husband's movements and you made a conclusion that this man is in another relationship. No proof, no texts. No evidence. Now you are acting out of a shadow. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you are acting out of a shadow. Now you, you are gripped and paralyzed with fear because of a shadow. I want to make a prophetic declaration that pertaining business people on this broadcast, you will not make destiny defining decisions in your business because of a shadow. I want to make a declaration to people that are in relationships. You will not make destiny defining decisions because of a shadow. I want to make a declaration to people that are in marriages. You are not about to self-sabotage your own marriage because of shadows. I want to make a declaration to people that are in ministry. You are about to close your ministry because of shadows. But this morning we have come to speak to every shadow. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You could be in a valley. That's right. You could be in a low season, but this is not death. This is not death. This is not death. This situation is not unto death, but it is for the glory of God to be revealed. I want somebody to lift up their voice in audacity and say, I will not fear anything. Any shadows. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I need somebody to come out of agreement with fear this morning. I want you to say fear will no longer sit on the driving seat of my life. I want you to say God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Areko Zavakadibayanda. Lift up your voice, O oh ye prayer governors, this morning. In the matchless name of Jesus. Ateke shika vaka di ba yande kenima. Ante ne meko saka di vaka deke reke veke di ba yanda. Father, you have not given us the spirit of fear, but you have given us the spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. E zika da ba yando ko soko. So, Father, this morning we come out of agreement.
agreement with any fear that we had partnered up with. We come out of agreement with any intimidation that we had come into partnership with. We come out of agreement with any area where we had been walking in a valley and we were intimidated by shadows. We declare no more fear in business. No more fear in our marriages. No more fear in our relationships. No more fear in our academics. No more fear in our friendships. No more fear in every destiny defining relationship you have given us. Destiny defining areas where we are plugged in. In the name of Jesus Christ. We come against any terrors by night. Uh, we come against any arrows by day. We come against any fright that has gripped us and paralyzed us in places where we should be moving, where we should be running, where we should be walking in the name of Jesus. We declare that fearfulness is not our portion in the name of Jesus. We come against any horror that has been holding us captive. We come against any spirit of panic, any spirit of agitation right before we are about to make destiny defining uh, 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 decisions in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we declare no more dread in our lives. We declare no more dismay in our lives. We declare no more worry, no more anxiety, no more unease in the places of our destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of fear, we divorce you this morning. Spirit of fear, we come out of agreement with you this morning. Spirit of fear, we send you back to sender this morning. Spirit of fear, you no longer have any hold in our lives. We will no longer be afraid of shadows. We will no longer be afraid to walk in the valley because the Bible says troubles you will always have but they won't last always father i thank you for somebody that's walking through a valley this morning i thank you that you they are not walking alone i thank you that they're not walking in isolation i thank you that they're not walking in silos i thank you that they they have help from above in the name of jesus christ and we declare this morning that they will no longer be intimidated by shadows they will no longer be the, be intimidated by the darkness of the valley because they walk with Jehovah Giboa, the God who fights our battles. Jehovah El Roy, the God that sees us. Jehovah Jireh, the God that provides for us in the matchless name of Jesus. Remind us this morning on this altar of prayer that you are with us in the name of Jesus. Remind us this morning uh, uh, that agitation and fear and dread and worry are not our portion. Remind us that unrest is not our portion in the name of Jesus. Remind us that dread and dismay are not our portion in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We thank you that you are casting away all shadows. Father, we thank you that you are strengthening us in the valley. Father, we thank you that we will fear no evil in the name of Jesus. Thank you that evil, that that wickedness is not our portion. Uh, evil is not our portion. Fear is not our portion. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing some of you had even developed phobias in the areas of your assignment. You are called to be a speaker. But you have panic attacks before you speak. You are called to be a leader. But you have phobias around leading. You, you find yourself wanting to please people. You are a people, you have become a chronic people pleaser. You, you have developed phobias around the areas of your ministry. You are meant to be in people, around people, working with people. Maybe you're a pastor, but you have told yourself that you're an introvert. And then, and then you have proceeded to tell yourself that you struggle around people. I come against any word that you have spoken over your life that is fighting your ministry and your assignment. I come against any word that you have spoken about your life that is fighting against your destiny. You have, you have, you have, you have come into agreement with phobias. You have come into agreement with fear.
You have given them names. You have owned them as your own. I have this phobia. I have that phobia. I struggle in this area. You have given yourself char character, character descriptions. You know, they say you can, you can call yourself an introvert or an extrovert. You have called yourself names that have limited you in the place of your assignment. I will fear no evil. Fear is not my portion. There is not a thing that God asks me to do that I can't do. There is not a place God sends me to that I, can, that I cannot go to. That's somebody's testimony this morning. I will fear no evil. I, I will fear no evil. I will, I will fear no shadows. Even while I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of of death even while I'm walking through the valley of the shadow of death I will fear no evil uh, the scripture says for you are with me you are with me I want somebody to 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 spend a few minutes reminding your soul that God is with you ah yeah 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 God is with you. I want you to come out of agreement with any story you had told yourself that God had deserted you. Any story you had told yourself that God is not for you. Any story you had told yourself that God is, 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 is mad at you. That God is angry with you. I want you to come out of agreement with any word that you had told yourself. Any narrative that was fighting God's word concerning your life. I want you to remind yourself in prayer this morning. God is with me. I fear because God is with me. I'm walking through a valley, but God is with me. I see the shadow of death, but God is with me. My business is going through some difficulties, but God is with me. I, 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 I. God is with you this morning. Begin to lift up your voice and remind your soul. David was always in the habit of speaking to his soul. He says, he says, praise the Lord, O oh my soul. David says, if I don't speak to you, someone else will speak to you. If I don't speak to you, what you see will speak to you. If I don't speak to you, the situation will speak to you. If I don't speak to you, the scenario might speak to you. So I have to speak to my soul. I want you to tell yourself this morning, in the beauty of this place of prayer, in the beauty of this prayer altar, I want you to say, God is with me. And I want you to take a moment and lean into that word. Begin to envision yourself surrounded by the goodness of God. Surrounded by the faithfulness of God. Surrounded by the forgiveness of God. Surrounded by the unconditional love of God. Surrounded by the overwhelming help from, from God. Surrounded. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody allow God to reveal himself to you this morning. God is with you. God has not left you. God has not forsaken you. There is a minister in, in worship who said, it might look like I'm surrounded, but I'm actually surrounded by love. I'm surrounded by God. It might look like life has been surrounding you, weighing down on you, but I want you to know that you are surrounded by love. You are surrounded by God. David says, I fear no evil for you are with me. I fear no evil for you are with me. I'm not willing to delve and to stay in fear because God is with me.
scripture says, your road and your stuff, they comfort me. Ooh. I love that. Your road and your stuff, they comfort me. God is both lion and lamp. God is a lion in your life and he is also a lamp. God is a soft touch and he also has a, a hard touch. God is like a, he's like a parent. You have to wear different faces depending on the situation. David says there is a road that God uses and there is also a staff. Both of them comfort me. Woman of God, what is a road? A road conveys the concept of authority, power, and discipline. Some of you right now, you're in a season where God is disciplining you. And I want you to know that God will never spend time disciplining anyone he doesn't love. God's discipline is God's love. You went through a season and you are currently experiencing the discipline of God. Don't take it as anger. Take it as love. You are currently going through the motions of the consequences of your action. It is God's rod. God's rod conveys authority. It conveys power and it conveys discipline. I don't want you to feel as though you have been, you have been, you have been let loose. Don't feel like you have been, like God has left you. You are experiencing the road of the shepherd. And the Bible says, both comfort me. The road, even though it disciplines me, it also comforts me. Ay, 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 ay. Even though the road is showing me God's power, it also comforts me. Even though it's showing me God's authority, it also comforts me. I'm going through a season where I'm experiencing the motions of, 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 of what I deserve. But God's road also comforts me. So road, a, a road con conveys authority, power, and discipline. And it also is used to defend the sheep. Some of you, the things you're going through in this season are for your defense. They are for your defense. It might not look like it, but God is defending you as a sheep. He's defending you. He can't, if God had left me to myself... If God had left me to my own de devices, if God had left me to myself, ay, 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 ay. if God would leave you to yourself, God is defending you by using that rod. After this, the sheep knows which direction to go. Hey, hello, somebody. After, after the road has done its work, the, she the sheep knows decisions to make. After the shepherd uses the road, the sheep knows the way without being told. After the shepherd has used the road, the sheep knows what to say and what not to say. What to share and what is oversharing. His road and his stuff, they comfort me. Uh, the stuff represents all that is uh, a long suffering and kind. A stuff is a long slender stick and it is often a, cr a crook or a hook on one end. So it has a hook on one end, which means that, that if the sheep wants to go one direction, the shepherd will just extend the stuff. He doesn't need to be closed. He just, <laughs> he just jacks you back. He just, the stuff will just jack you back into direction. David says both of them. They comfort me. Both of them, they, they comfort me. And, 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 and I love what I was reading because it says the owner will use the different sticks uh, depending on, on the situation. He will always use either the road or the stuff depending on the situation. I want you to know that whatever situation you're going through with God, if you're going through a road dis disciplinary season or you're going through a stuff season, both of them are meant to comfort you. They are, they are meant to comfort you. God says, I want to comfort you. 
your road and your stuff may come forth me. Father, we thank you for your road. I need somebody to just thank God. Thank God for the season you're going through. <clears throat> I know it's rough. I know it's uncomfortable. I know for some of you, you're actually paying for, for, for some stuff that you, some decisions you made. <coughs> you are you are you are going through the consequences of decisions you made i just need you to i, I, I know it's by faith right now because you don't feel good about it but i want you to say thank you lord i want somebody to groan and thank you out of that pain i want somebody to groan and thank you out of that turmoil I want somebody to groan and thank you out of that discouragement. I want somebody to groan and thank you out of that inconvenience. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you this morning. Thank you for your road. Thank you for your stuff. They comfort me. They discipline me. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you for your authority you are showing in my life. Thank you for your power that you are showing in my life. Thank you for the disciplining. Thank you for the defending. Thank you for the road. Thank you for the stuff. Thank you for the direction. Thank you. Thank you. It doesn't feel good. But from the deepest portions of my belly this morning, from the innermost parts of my spirit this morning, I thank you. I thank you for the shame I've had to go through. I thank you for this embarrassing season I've had to go through. I thank you for allowing me to experience the consequences of my actions so I know to do better next time. Thank you, God. Thank you. Your road and your stuff, I love them. Never, never withhold them. They comfort me. Never withhold them. I, I'm thankful, God, uh, that now I know better, then I can do better. I thank you for not withholding the fullness of the road and the stuff in my life. They comfort me. Your disciplining comforts me. And your power in my life comforts me. Your authority, your sign of authority, it comforts me. Might not be comfortable, but I'm thankful. It might not be the easiest of seasons, but I'm thankful. I thank you for your road. And I thank you for your stuff. That's right. I thank you for the lessons. Now I know better, I can do better. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody is praying to God this morning. Now that I know better, I can do better. Now that I know better, I can do better. Now I've seen the consequences of my action. I can walk in integrity and morality. I know better. I, I no longer have any reason to not do better. Thank you, King of Glory, this morning for every story represented on this broadcast. Every story, every story, every story in its uniqueness represented on this broadcast. Things that sometimes we can't even tell people that we are going through. I thank you that your road and your stuff are comforting us. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Areva sina namakosa. Renda namakadeba yande kasiva. Arenda. I'm tempted to get into verse 5, but I want to wake up tomorrow morning ready. Re I'm talking about, I'm talking about, listen, I want you to come tomorrow. If some of you can fast for tomorrow's prayer session, I want you to come fasted. Listen to what verse 5 and verse 6 say. We're going to be praying tomorrow. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Ay, yeah, yeah. I need somebody to begin to clap hands in the comment section because we are getting ready to pray. I want you to come ready and fasted. Uh, you anoint my head with oil. Tomorrow morning, I, I, I want some impartations to take place. I want some anointing to take place. I'm going to cry out for God to give and release a fresh oil over our heads. David says, you anoint my head with oil. David says, my oil, there's oil on my head and it is fresh because you have anointed my head with oil. David says, my cup runs over. Tomorrow we're going to be praying, Lord, give us an over. 
overflow. Give us a cup, not just a cup, but a cup that overflows. We are going to be provoking the word of God. We are going to be placing a demand on the word of God tomorrow. Prepare a table in the presence of those that have been yearning for my shame, yearning for my demise, yearning for my downfall, yearning for me to never amount to anything. Prepare a table in the presence of my enemies and begin to anoint me with fresh oil. If you can fast, if you don't have any medical condition, I, I want you to fast. Even if it's an intermittent fast, which means that you just wake up in the morning, you haven't ate anything, just come to prayer as you are uh, 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 and let's, let's pray. Let's say, Lord, fresh oil on my head, fresh oil on my head, fresh oil on my head for business, fresh oil on my head for ministry, fresh oil on my head for my assignment, fresh oil on my head for my relationships, fresh oil on my head for the place where you have planted me and we're going to be praying we're going to say let goodness and mercy ay, 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 ay. let goodness and mercy follow me all the days of my life and let me dwell in your house that is going to be our prayer points tomorrow so i want you to come ready I want you to come consecrated. I want you to come set apart. If you have olive oil in your home or no more oil, I want you to have it close by because as we are praying, anoint my head with oil. You are going to take whatever oil you have in your home, whatever oil you have that you trust, yours, not the one you bought from somewhere. No, 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 no. <laughs> not the one you paid money for. No, 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 no. Take oil from your house. We're going to pray for it. Some of you are going to actually pray for it and you are going to keep it and you will just use it to anoint yourself we're gonna say you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over tomorrow is going to be powerful tomorrow is going to be prophetic uh, tomorrow is going to be prolific i want you to come ready i want you to come excited in your spirit and we're going to finish off the book of psalm 23 i don't know about you but i have been enjoying this book I have been enjoying this chapter. If you have a testimony, I, I, I want to hear a couple of testimonies because I think we finished slightly early today. In fact, it's not early, it's on time. So I just need a couple of people that are saying, woman of God, as we were praying at this particular prayer point, this is what happened because there is always a release of deliverance, grace on these broadcasts and God is breaking chains. A, a God is God is God is delivering people from, from long, long standing issues. So if there, if, if, if there's some, some that says i have i have a i have a testimony you can write it in the comment section or you can come through i want to hear your testimony about today's prayer prayer or yesterday's prayer that's right heaven's signature is on your story god is concerned about you actually succeeding god is concerned about you walking a righteous life am i communicating this morning that's right. Today's verse is Psalm 23. We started yesterday. So if you were not there yesterday, I want to encourage you to watch yesterday's broadcast, uh, which was, uh, which is available on our YouTube platform, uh, House of Hosting Heaven. That's two verses of Psalm 23 and we finish tomorrow. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let me know your name and where you're connecting from and do share your testimony with us. Praise God, Pastor Melody. Um, my name is Sherry and I'm connecting from Germany. Wonderful. Wonderful. Do share your testimony with us, Sherine. Yeah, so you preached about Psalm 23. Actually, it's my personal vice. Like, I, I pray through it every day. And I'm so happy that you're preaching about it and I'm going, uh, like, I'm getting deeper into it. Like, I feel like the Holy Spirit is doing something through that verse. Because since it's my personal verse, and I pray it through it every day. I didn't know what I was praying through, but now I'm getting to know it deeper. I did thank you because that, that since I joined your like this online church, like I'm feeling great like, in the spirit. I'm getting a change. I just thank you, man of God. Glory to God. Sometimes God will give you a scripture and the revelation in as much as you can get out of it is as much revelation as you have of it. So I'm so excited for you in the name of Jesus. And I pray that God continues to unpack the scripture to you so that now when you're walking, you are walking in confidence. You are walking in revelation. You are walking in courage. Amen and amen. Ta, congratulations. Where are you connecting from? And do share your testimony with me. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Prayer good governance. morning. Um, wow. So today I really just want to say God is great. Mm. God is good. God is faithful. Amen. God is always on time. 
Mm. He makes things happen. That's right. You know, women of God, I've been joining this live, okay, yeah, for a while now. And me and my fiance have been in a very, very sticky situation, you know, like we've been going through the most. And in everything that we have been going through, it's funny how calm we've always been because we've always trusted in the Lord and believing that something will come through for us, you know. And going back on what we've been praying for, like for last week and this week, there was a point where you said um, we need to pray before things happen. Mm. If you remember, right? Yes. yes. And then yes. you came again and then you said, um, I shall not want. That's right. right. And then you said we have to uh, live a life of crazy faith. Mm. And that's what we've been doing. So yesterday, finally, 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 God came through for us. Um, he got a, a new offer, a job offer, a huge job offer that is going to direct our life in a different, different, different direction. And I'm so grateful. I'm thankful. I'm I'm in awe. I, I've been crying since yesterday. It's it's wow. it's a beautiful feeling. It's a beautiful, wow. beautiful feeling. When you also said sometimes you must just, you know, don't, not to have, don't worry about finances. You know, if you're going to the shop, you don't have to worry about the price tag. Here we are, Lord. Here we are. You are showing up and you're showing off. You are doing it for us. You are here for us. Oh, thank you so much, woman of God. And I just want to tell, you know, the also the other prayer warriors that it's, it's not the end of the road. You You need to hang in there. Hang in there. You know, your season of, of waiting also will come. It will go. It, it, it's there. You know, God is, God is grateful. God is good. God is good. God is good. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. I'm grateful. Thank you so much, woman of God. Incredible. Somebody in the comment section says you sound like DJ Zilfe. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and she's actually my favorite. <laughs> Amazing. Congratulations to you and your fiance. May God perfect your story. And may you walk in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. We want to come to the wedding and we want to be proud of you. Amen. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a blessed, blessed day and keep on praying. Prayer amen. changes things. Glory to God. Amen and amen. Amazing. Uh, incredible testimonies. Hang in there. That's what Ntabi said. Hang in in there hang in there somebody keep praying hang in there our god is not deaf that he will not hear you come on his ears are not deaf to your to your prayers congratulations congratulations let me know where you're connecting from let me know your name and do share your testimony with us Amen. Amen and amen. Mm. Um, so so the, the people are saying they cannot hear you, and I think it's because you have earphones, likely. So they can't hear. It. There's no sound from your angle. Can, can you remove the earphones that you have, if you have any, by any chance? Uh, can you hear her now, prayer governors? Can you hear her now? Um, uh, there's still no sound. I don't know why. Uh, maybe share, quickly share your testimony with me and I will be sharing it with the prayer governors. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on. 
That's right. Yeah. Uh, God. Amen. Sorry that people can't hear you and people are actually saying we wish we could hear. Um, um, so, so my lovely sister here lost her mother recently and she has had to sort of take over the, the, the uh, matron of the home sort of role and uh, look out for her siblings and make sure that her siblings and their children are well. And she says it's been overwhelming, but these prayers have just given her courage and strength. The Lord is a shepherd, she shall not want. He will make them to lie down in green pastures. He will lead the family beside still waters. And she says specifically today, the road and the stuff, they comfort us. She says that, that really ministered to her. Uh, sis, thank you so very much. What a beautiful tip. Testimony. I wish everybody could have just heard you. I mean, she's, right now, you know, she's crying, but I just speak the comfort of the Lord over you. Um, and I just speak the love of the Lord to surround you. Overwhelming love in this season, reassuring love, a very present and very important love that you can sense and feel that you are not alone. You are a woman helped by God. And we're standing with you and your family. May God continue to carry you and cover you in jesus name sis you are blessed okay? we love you so much Great to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Sis. I, I I appreciate your testimony, Shame. The people can't hear you, hear you, and I wish they they could. So I want you to then call again another day when you when we're testifying and do share again your testimony. Uh, but congratulations to you. God bless you, and may God continue to hold you um, in the season. Someone said something so profound. They said grief is uh, love that has no place to go. So when you're experiencing that grief, I don't want you to, to think of it like a negative feeling. I want you to think of it as love, the beautiful love you had for your mother that just doesn't have a home to go to any longer because she's no longer there. So just 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 think of it like it's not it's not a bad feeling. It's it's a beautiful feeling that just can't find a place to go. So find somewhere to, to put that love in honor of your mother. Find someone to love find someone to help find someone to make smile and it makes it a little just a little better amen love you so much sir. tons of tons of love to you tons of love to you and your family oh i wish you could have heard her what a beautiful testimony let's see if we can get one more person uh or a couple of more people depending on how long they take pretty boothly congratulations where you're connecting from and do share your testimony with us i'm giving you a couple of minutes pretty boothly <laughs> oh oh thank you sissy can you hear me i can hear you perfectly can you hear pretty boothly um um, I think just go ahead with your testimonies. Okay, um, okay. Yes, they can hear you. They can hear you. I'm, 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 I'm feeling so nervous, but I'm so grateful for for the opportunity to to have a chance to to thank you. Basically, my testimony is going to be very different um, <clears throat> because I do not have um, 
a tangible, tangible uh, one particular thing that I can say that this is what has happened. But I just wanted to to thank you. I've been um, I actually found your 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 prayers, your videos on YouTube somewhere last year. But then I started um, watching the prayers. I started praying along the prayers. My situation is different because when I found it, when I found your prayers, I think I was um, spiritually dead. Um, I'm actually a, a, a believer, a born again believer that, uh, that was in ministry for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And uh, something happened, I, I will say it, it, it was an accident. Um, I will call it a spiritual uh, accident because I don't want to go through too many de details at the moment. But um, I found myself um, not in fellowship for years and years. And I was a minister. A situation happened that really, really hurt my family. My husband and I are ministers. And um, for some reason, we found ourselves out, cast out of, of, of um the place of worship, I will say that for, for because of certain situations that happened, um, maybe when I have time, I will <clears throat> elaborate and, and, and clarify what I'm trying to say. But I see you as a, a spiritual, I will say neurosurgeon, surgeon, because the altar had died, sis. <clears throat> the altar was literally off, but when I started praying along, you ignited uh, the fire. You ignited my prayer altar. I started praying. It had it had been long. Okay, let me just uh, summarize. I have an autistic child, and uh, the child is about uh, twelve years now. It changed everything. It literally changed everything. It, it 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 sort of like destroyed my faith. It killed my faith. It killed my husband's faith. Um, we we just. Um, we ran out of fuel and um, I, I I actually, it, it was hard for me to make peace with our given situation, especially the way that we had been serving God because even prior marriage, I was a minister, even when we married, everything was founded on the Lord and th there were so many promises and when the child came in, I had so, so much faith that God would heal him, but as time went on, years went on, things just became worse. It changed everything basically about our lives and it literally killed every every faith that we, every bit of faith that we had. And um, we stopped, we stopped everything. We left everything, we stopped ministry, we stopped the traveling, everything, we just stopped. You know, it was so, it was a dry season up until last year when I started praying. And my biggest testimony, I think, is that um, in the past few months, my husband started praying as well because he was worse. He wanted nothing to do with God. We, we just walked away. We were like, if this is our new reality, we want nothing to do with God. But when you started speaking into our lives, when you started, when I started listening to the prayers and praying uh, along, something just, just, I have this hope and I have this restoration and I, I, I literally wake up every day just to to pray along, just to hear you praying. And it's how it's how you 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 minister. It's 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 a different kind of ministry. Um, it's how you you make the scripture scriptures come to life. It's how you you personal personalize the prayers. Like I literally see you as a surgeon, because it's how you 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 touch every spiritual organ, everything, any aspect of of our lives. So. I just want to say to you, thank you for allowing God to use you in this way. Um, if if you knew how 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 closed up the book was concerning our lives, but just coming across these videos has opened up the book again. So I just wanted to thank you personally and say, please keep on doing what you are doing, and I pray that. God will see you through. I, I pray that God will, will 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 give you the deepest desires of your heart because you have no idea what you do in people's lives. Thank you so much for resuscitating our lives, Cece. I I really really thank God for your life. Oh, 
you're gonna make me cry, pretty bushy. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Yeah, wow, wow, wow. You know, you know. Yeah, God ah, pretty bushy. God is good. Pretty bushy. <laughs> Um, if, if, if I came for you alone, if this platform was started just for you alone, sometimes I believe that because the situation I'm in does not even, yes, yes, I've, I've done my work. I've done, sometimes I've done, I believe, I'm, sometimes I believe that you, you, you have no idea, you know, sometimes people don't understand the um in of being able the privilege of being able to go out the the privilege of just being able to step out of your house the privilege of being able to minister of being being able to do minister some some people thirst for the opportunity to, to just step out of the house but they cannot because there are situations that are holding them back for instance i'm a caregiver 24 hour caregiver i i i wish I wish, I don't know, uh, um, when was the last time I was in a place of worship where I can just freely just lift up my hands with no child that is running around, no child that needs to be restrained. So this platform has given me that, you know. So sometimes I do feel when I'm, it's, it's the first platform that I actually felt the presence of God. I've been trying to do the online, you know, when you've been in church most for, for I'm a church girl, when you've been in church for the rest of your life, you long for that atmosphere. This is the first atmosphere that was able to connect me with heaven the way that I know. So I do feel that sometimes you were, you, you, you were just sent just for me. I do feel that I know it's, <laughs> it's just me saying that, but I just thank God so much for your life. I'm so encouraged. I'm so encouraged. And congratulations for going back under that old raggedy cross hey. that we belong nowhere else. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, a job says, though you slay me hey, <laughs> that will I trust I, I'm feeling the pain. I'm feeling the disappointment. Yeah. Don't you? Yet will I try because we, the disciples say to say to him, where will we run to? For you hold the words of life. Life is gonna happen sometimes, and I don't want to preach. But and you're a church girl, you could preach this better to me. But life is gonna <laughs> happen. But we belong under Amen. the feet of that cross. Amen. We cry there. We celebrate there. We Amen. laugh there. We are congratulated there. Amen. Sometimes we weep while we're there. Hey. That's where we belong. And hey. my joy is to know that you are back under the feet, under under hey. the feet of that cross. My joy is to know that you are reconnected. I love you okay. so much. May Thank God you. continue to strengthen you. Thank you for taking journey. my call. Thank you so much. I'm so encouraged. He has trusted you with this journey and he will equip you. Your shoulders will be broad to carry the weight of what yes. God has given you to carry in the season, yes. in your child's life, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. amen. Congratulations Thank to you. Sister. Thank and you so much. Household. Thank you, Amen sister. and amen. <laughs> amen and amen and amen. Wow, wow, wow. Woo! Wow. I... I, I don't know if I have any capacity for, for more at this point, but let's see if I can give my sis here a minute and we are out today. Oh, I'm excited. Queen, congratulations, <laughs> Queen, where you're connecting from and do share your testimony with us. Thank you so much. God bless you and multiply your grace. Woman of God, I found this channel in January. I was actually in the office and I was because I'm not, I live in Japan. I'm a Nigerian. I live in Japan. So I was at work and, um, you know, I had free time. So I said, okay, what's happening? The moment I opened TikTok, I saw you and you were spitting fire. You know what the Bible said in the book of Luke chapter one, verse 41 to two, the Bible records that when Mary came to Elizabeth, it said the baby in Elizabeth's womb leaped out of joy. So when, when you have the Holy Ghost and you meet another person that has the Holy Ghost, there's an inner witnessing in your spirit, there's a connection in your spirit. 
you know so when i i i, I took i went outside i took my my bluetooth i went outside as if i was just walking around i said i must listen to this woman of god i kept listening and that was how i followed you and ever since i try as much as possible to squeeze out time but something remarkable happened yesterday you know yesterday i i've been reading this who, who has who doesn't know uh, proverbs chapter 23 i can recite it actually but yesterday it hits me differently it hit me differently and it, it just came it was a whole load of it i began to think verse 2 psalm 23 the way you just it's just the holy ghost i know it's the holy ghost so in verse 2 he said he made me to lie down in green pastures he leaded me beside the still waters then you off queen can you hear me uh queen can you hear me? yes can i can you hear you you can continue queen, can you hear me so yesterday what happened so yesterday you said something i'm talking about what you do how do god use you to deliver psalm 23 verse 2 to me in a different dimension you said something you said that when you sit beside you uh, when you sit in a in green pastures are you supposed to sit there and be watching it and i remember goats that when when you put a goat beside the grass it will begin to eat but if it's not gonna eat that means it's sitting in abundance oh my god sincerely that was a wire for me it wired me differently and my prayer language has changed with that scripture apart from that you say something again you say that when you live in abundance you don't imprint under pressure when you take anything that comes to you you just take it you don't have option sincerely woman of god god bless you i studied the word of god but the way i caught this one yesterday it has become a lifeline for me god will continue to bless you and something is baffling and that thing is that i followed you and immediately i know you didn't follow me back somebody followed me with your picture your name everything the same people should have sense you cannot copy and paste the holy ghost you cannot copy and paste the anointing. It's very annoying. I've blocked so many accounts like that. Retain the melody kangaroo. I will block and they will use another one to follow me. People should have sense. Whomever you are, repent. Jesus is coming. That's the only thing I can say. God bless you, my sister. God bless you. This grace will continue Amen. to increase, continue to multiply in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much. They must have sense. The scammers must have sense. They must stop it. They must stop. <laughs> I have said it so beautifully. I couldn't have said it better. Scammers have sense. Have sense. Oh, ha. What kind? Thank you so much for that beautiful testimony. What a hilarious, really hilarious one. I, I am super encouraged. Uh, what a powerful time of testimonies. Thank you, everybody that shared something. I see there's 13 people still waiting in line for testimonies. I promise you God is going to give you an opportunity to testify very soon. Let's see if it happens tomorrow. But I'm so encouraged to hear many of you say that we have all, we, we recited Psalm 23. We have known Psalm 23. Some of you have known Known it from uh from even uh kindergarten or crash and you're saying that there is a new dimension we are receiving about psalm 23 and as we prayed over our lives let it become an embodiment of our lives in the name of jesus christ amen and amen i can't wait to see you tomorrow we're going to be praying prepare a table in the presence of my enemy we're going to say anoint my head with oil we're going to say we are going to live in a cup that overflows we are going to say goodness and mercy is going Going to follow us all the days of our lives and we're going to say lord we will dwell in your house forever so i want you to come ready come excited come fasted come, come consecrated if you can in the name of jesus thank you cmap g's thank you by Heezy. god bless you so very much everybody that is given uh we don't have an offering time blessing time here so whenever you feel led according to your lead according to the leading of the lord no one is compelled to give um and if you don't have you we don't ever want you to feel like you 
you can't come on the broadcast because you have nothing to give. That's not the way we work here. Uh, 217 people shared the broadcast. God bless you so very much. May God increase you in the name of Jesus. And may God also send you people uh, that are destiny helpers uh, whenever you need them in Jesus' mighty name. And may God make you a partaker of the blessing that's connected to those that share his word. Tomorrow morning, same time, same place, we're going to be here. God bless you, everybody. See you tomorrow.